is coming <laughs> we have the lovely Raynal in here and we are going to shoot what today we're gonna be shooting our lazy college outfits yes lazy outfits for college we have my suitcase in the back right there and we're in a lift because boycott Uber <laughs> um, but are you ready <laughs> yeah yeah let's do it we have five outfits Welcome to this week's Vag of Vlog and that is brought to you guys by popular demand because I think that comment had, I don't know, 200 thumbs up of changing Vagabond Vlogs to Vag of Vlogs. I don't know, it's what y'all wanted so I'm giving y'all what you want. Anyways, I, I'm like just cleaning up my vanity right now um, and I have a bunch of Korean beauty products I wanted to haul for you guys. I've had them for actually a pretty long while now I just haven't been able to show you guys for whatever reason um, so let's get started because who doesn't love a good KBD haul all right so this is the dr. Jart plus derma clear micro water and I have tried the pads I have them in my little nightstand over there I keep them in my um, I keep them in my purse too because it's just great if you're like sleeping overnight and you need to wash your face anyway so this is the bottle version and it comes with a little extra packet yeah oh, okay so this is a gift set so you get the derma clear and then you get the kind of pouch one and this is all from early picker which is an online Korean retailer where you can get pretty much the cheapest lowest prices for Korean beauty products um, and they actually gifted this all to me but it's not sponsored in any way I'm not getting paid to talk about this um, but I'm very grateful so thank you so much early picker for sending me these products and I obviously all handpicked all of these anyways this is Medicube and this is basically 
a line of Korean beauty products that I think is relatively new and it's for sensitive skin, acne prone skin and as y'all know I suffer from acne, um, just mild acne but the Medicube uh, what is this called? A uh, cushion is probably one of their most popular products and I Unfortunately, I thought I picked the darkest color But even the darkest color is like a highlighter to me especially because I just came back from New Orleans and I got tan but Yeah, this is like a highlight on my skin. Oh my god, and this is their darkest shade um, But this is supposed to be really good for acne prone skin and it's supposed to heal it um, but the color match is just really not there for me <laughs> I did try this out it did not break me out um, didn't really I, I look weird but whatever it didn't break me out um, I don't I don't think it gave me any active breakout so I don't really have much to say about it um, also I have the Etude, Etude House AC cushion which my friend Joan recommended to me um, this is also their darkest color but I think now I'm too tan for it so I haven't used it in a while but I like this product I feel like there's a lot of noise going on and oh I do look weird I do look weird how do I blend this out, blend this out, blend this out, Amy, blend this out? Oh, that's like a highlighter on my face. That looks so scary now. Okay, so these two Medicube products I love. So as you can see, I've already used pretty much more than half of this product. And this is a red cleansing pad and it has sub it's a sub acid cleansing pad formulated uh, to remove makeup and skin waste, it's embossed. The pad is also embossed and it's a huge pad. It actually comes with sanitary tongs for you to, you know, peel off. But this stuff really removes makeup. I love how the pad is so big and it's drenched in the product. And I have spent many nights just cleansing my face with this and going to sleep and I didn't have any breakouts the next day, which is amazing. I wouldn't ever recommend not washing your face before you go to sleep, but if you really had to, I saw amazing results or just no breakouts and I kept my skin clear um, with the red cleansing pad from Medicu from Medicube and this entire line is really great for people with acne like I said um, the red line and then I have the Medicube zero pore pad these are basically just toner pads and I've used pretty like a good third of it and this has AHA and BHA and it helps to exfoliate dead skin cells sebum and skin waste and I don't really know if my skin has really made a difference using this, but um, it hasn't broken out so I'm going to keep using it and hopefully I'll have an empty for y'all. <laughs> okay, the last two products I got are the Red Erasing Cream, which is a cream that's supposed to help with redness. And I have a lot of redness. It kind of looks like rosacea, but I don't think it is. And I have a lot of broken capillaries. So I use this and it's just like a white paste. It looks like that. Um, to be honest, I don't really, I haven't been using this every day, so I don't really, I can't really tell if it works. And then I also have um, the Centella Scar Ointment Cream, and this is good for after you pop your acne, you can apply it. Um, also, if you have just any scars that you want to kind of fade. Um, I also haven't been using this every day, so I can't really tell if it's really, you know, effectively working. Um, because I do use vitamin C serums and stuff like that. Um, but... I don't think either has really broken me out. I think it's pretty good for sensitive skin, but see how white that is? So I would recommend using this at night only. If you have ever tried Medicube products, will you let me know your thoughts? And I don't know. I've, these two products I'm kind of iffy about, but the toner pads and the cleansing pads, I love. And then I got a bunch of 3CE, which is 3 Concept Eyes. It's a makeup line from Style Nanda in Korea. And I have been really wanting to try their makeup for such a long time. I wasn't able to in Korea because I left so quickly. Um, but I got 4 eyeshadows. And this is... I love warm tone colors. If I ever came out with a makeup line, it would be like a reddish, warmish brown. It's so pretty. Um, this one has... Kind of like a three three color gradient these are pretty good these are really buttery and soft so the color payoff on these are actually really yeah they're really good so no complaints with that i have a similar one but these ones are shimmers and these ones i feel like if i remember correctly they're not as pigmented because they are so shimmery they kind of just come off as yeah so i feel like this this color payoff is not that great, like I really have to get in there. But these are really great blending colors in my opinion. The matte one is Dainty Tasty and then the shimmer one is in Swoon. Then I got this one which is just a all around one color and this is called Gold Shower. Um, oh, and this one is, whoa, I really stuck my finger in there. This one is very pigmented and very buttery compared to um, 
this guy over here, which is the shimmer one. But look how pigmented that is. And then I got Chocolate, which is just a matte brown. And I got two lip colors from 3CE, and they're both a red. So this one's kind of like a brick red. So there's that. This is just like a really clay, orangey red, and it looks awful on my skin. Um, yeah, I barely use it, as you can tell. So I'll probably give, be giving this away to one of my friends. Last, oh my god, I'm so white. And the last two products I got that are my favorite are the Tony Moly Gel Liner. So it comes with a brush, and then you cap it, and then there's a whole gel pond. This is one of my favorites. I've been using this every single day. And then the April Skin No Smudge Eye Doll Brush Liner. And this is very comparable to the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. It's really soft and nice on the skin. So I got all these products from Early Picker and they actually send you a bunch of samples too with your order. I think there's like 12 samples in here. But yeah, Early Picker is really cool because they offer such low prices for Korean beauty products and they also have timed sales. So if you gather all your friends at a certain time and buy the same product, they'll actually offer it to you at a cheaper price. So you guys should definitely check it out and you get a bunch of samples right here as I told you. Um, but yeah, thank you for sending me these products and I probably should go blend this more. All I have to really do today is pack because I'm actually going to the bay to visit my brother and Diego and my mom and dad are actually up there right now simultaneously. So I'm going to wash all these swatches off and I'm going to go get to packing. Eh, <laughs> uh, so itchy. So itchy. Let's go back. I love you, Komi. We're at Crossroads. And it's so funny because I never vlogged UCLA Fanny Hall. We <laughs> out <laughs> ah, a well-balanced meal. Alright, we're in Diego's dorm and his family gave him this big ass bag of snacks. That should look full too. So we're gonna rip it. Where is it? I want. I said. Come on, Oreos. Um. Oh yes. Hot onions. This one's better. Hot fries. Oh, get hot fries. Get hot. Oh, I love munchies. The munchies. I wish the um the black hot Cheetos came in small bags. I mean, they do, but they not do. in the packet. I love that it only gets the hot ones. Yeah, duh. Duh. Why am I? These are my favorite. But are they are. already open? They are. I'm about to. Take them. Take them. Mm. I literally never have to go buy chips. I know. Because I don't want to live. So right now we're at what is this called? Sogongdong, Kevin? Yeah, Sogongdong. We're at Sogongdong Toku House, which is a Sundubuji here in Palo Alto. Got my lovely Diego, got Alicia and Kevin, and my parents are right there. So um, my parents are actually they flew up here to visit my brother, and I drove up here with Komi and to see a Diego. Yeah. So we're going to eat Sindhu. Need you for the old me. Need you for my sanity. Need you to remind me down to earth. Call me on my bullshit. Out of 
me and save my booty getting bigger even, even if it ain't Your attention to point number four it is highly demanding mentally. In further explaining this property, Colvin tells a story, quote, dissing enough. Howard responded, practice with your fingers and you need all day. Practice. So I am back home now in LA. I got back from San Francisco the day before yesterday. My camera battery died, but I just wanted to end the vlog with a comment of the day, uh, which is something one of my favorite vloggers on YouTube does. Don't look at the background, it's so messy. I just came back from a trip, so I did laundry, but uh, how can I? There we go. So the comment of the day comes from 88 Tom the Artist. 888 and I don't know he or she but you always leave such lovely comments and I want to say thank you so much for that it's a long one so I'm gonna paraphrase uh, thank you for motivating me not to sit at home on my day off from a job I hate lol um, but instead get out of the house and I'm inspired by the effort you're taking to get on a network and pursue your passion. You're having fun at events, but doing the work it takes to be successful. Um, I'm so energized to get out in the world and make my creative dream job happen. Looking forward to more vlogs. So thank you so much. Um, I am honored and privileged to have my vlogs be any source of inspiration for you guys. Um, but if you are feeling unfulfilled in a passion, I want to say that you 100% have every right to go pursue it. Um, and that doesn't necessarily always mean having an ultimatum you know pursuing pursuing this over that because um, at the end of the day you got to pay bills I understand that um, but don't think that just because you're doing one thing you can't do two things and you can always pursue your passion um, it just might take more time and the extra mile but um, it's definitely doable I was doing YouTube uh, all of my four years at UCLA along with studying doing the Daily Bruin and being an editor and um, having a social life and also being part of four or three different clubs um, So I feel like those were all my passions and I feel like if you really want to do something you'll make it happen and um, More people in this world should be doing more of what makes them feel up on fire What gets them really jazzed what they're just what just makes them feel super alive so I commend you for going out and trying to pursue whatever it is that you want to pursue and thank you so much and I will see you guys in my next bag of vlog bye <laughs>